John Durham, I think, did a, a service to us all by giving us a little bit of a peek into what he's been doing because he's been at it for a little while. People were starting to make noise that, you know, nothing's coming out of it or anything uh, like that. So he chose a fairly innocuous court filing about a conflict of interest issue, but which nobody really cares about, to embed a message uh, about what he's uncovered so far. And it was startling. Uh, indicating that he's looking closely at a possible conspiracy involving the Hillary Clinton campaign, her law firm, uh, a tech media a person that uh, had associations with the, with the uh, campaign to bring information to the FBI under false pretenses, try to get the FBI to invest resources and uh, investigate the Trump campaign under false pretenses. Uh, the attorney, Michael Sussman, didn't divulge to the FBI that... Uh, he was uh, working on behalf of the campaign, and therefore he is now indicted for lying to the FBI. Uh, his attorneys have argue, argued that it's not material because he was bringing information that was material, but you can't go to the FBI and try to trick them into conducting an investigation and, and re devoting a whole bunch of resources to an effort that, without letting the FBI know all the facts behind that. So the implications are, are important. Uh, we, we possibly have a, a conspiracy to defraud I anticipate uh, John Durham will issue more subpoenas and indictments. Uh, he's working, as I mentioned he, in my article, he's climbing a ladder that he's perched against a, a wall, rung by rung. He's locking down testimony. He's getting cooperation from, from uh, individuals, and he's building a case. And the other important message that came out of this is that John Durham was able to telegraph to the Department of Justice that he does have a case. And he made it very difficult for the Department of Justice to make a political decision and, and end his uh, special prosecutor, special counsel status.